The words we use affect the way we think. Music is a word. Is it mandatory? Do we have to use it? Have we always used it? The answer to both is no. In my book, When Nothing is Called Music, I make a radical proposition. What if we called nothing music? How would that affect our understanding and practices, perhaps even our entire culture? This podcast features excerpts from the book. If you're interested in the book itself, it is available as a free PDF. Available through my website, bestiparavianin.com. That's probably hard to spell, but there should be a link nearby. Without music number five, on instrumentality, the case of the guitar paddle. A chair is an instrument. You can sit on a rock or a tree stump, but a rock may not be practical indoors and a tree stump is probably in a rather fixed location. A chair, in its astounding varieties, is an instrument of sitting. So with a guitar, there is a basic event, plucking a string or gut or wire that's held taut. And there are instruments developed for the purpose of the employment of that event. Chordophones, string sounders, including guitars. What is fascinating about instrumentality is that this necessary specialization, this focus on a particular effect, does not separate an instrument from other applications. It doesn't even mean that the instrument is necessarily a poor choice in applications it was never intended for by its makers. I have been thinking about different ways of using a guitar. You can play a guitar like it was intended to be used, or even in unconventional ways, so-called extended techniques. But what else can you do with it? And perhaps most interestingly, could that something else connect with playing it in the conventional way? One of the shoots for Dörrenlahti, a parable in landscape, took place on Dörrenlahti Bay itself. In August 2015, I rented a stand-up paddleboard from Hakuna Matata SUP rentals, attached a GoPro on it, and went for a spin. I soon found out that I was too heavy for the board. It wasn't very steady when I stood up. The kneeling position was much better, if not more comfortable. I had an acoustic guitar with me. The plan was simply to play on the bay, but also to see if I could paddle with the guitar. I found out the guitar was better than the supplied SUP paddle. Kneeling on the board, I didn't need the longer reach the SUP paddle provides. The guitar was long enough. But surprisingly, the guitar was a lot better in other ways too. It was very light to use, because it floats. It was very efficient, because it is many times larger in area than the SUP paddle. These features meant that I could paddle faster with the guitar than with the stand-up paddleboard paddle. The guitar was not designed for this. 
but the specialized design did not prevent the guitar from excelling in an unintended use. An instrumental specialization doesn't mean a withdrawal, that is, an abstraction. Here is a beautiful picture concerning disciplines, interdisciplinarity, and the togetherness of what we've come to call art forms. If they would be taken to be instruments, defined by their purpose, instead of abstractions, self-defined and therefore purposeless, specialization would not mean isolation. Monastic isolation is importantly featured in the history of the concept of music. Perhaps we can use it as a metaphor to illustrate the contrast between abstraction and instrumental specialization. If God is abstract, the monk has to abstract himself, isolate himself, a monastery being a means for this. If God is not abstract, devotion is a matter of specialization of the instrument, the devotee. This calls for engaging the world the instrument is applied to, not abstraction, not withdrawal from the application. Instrumentality stays in the world while focusing beyond. Abstraction and instrumentality have opposite implications when it comes to unity or togetherness. A unity of abstractions is a self-contradicting idea, since the point of abstraction is precisely the opposite of unity with others. Instrumental specializations can form a unity, since specialized focus does not mean a detachment. This could be called a non-dogmatic togetherness, another way of saying ecological composition. 